Alright, yo guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get tainted metal in No Man's Sky. Okay, so the first thing is you're going to want to start in the space station, like with about 95% of my videos. But on this time, you want to go into the left side and talk to the scrap dealer. So what you want to do is you want to acquire coordinates for 5 million units. If you don't have the units to do it, I've got plenty of videos on my channel showing you how to make millions of units very easily and very quickly. But to be honest, you should probably have 5 million units. It's not it's like a huge amount. But once you've got it, assuming you can afford it, once you've got it, you want to go into your exosuit and tune it. Hold whatever button it is for you to tune it. And you want to pulse drive into a random direction. Now it's going to tell you to exit the pulse drive. And once you do, you're going to see a freighter. And you're just going to want to land on it and go inside So once you've entered the airlock, this room here, you're going to see a teleporter, which you can't use at the moment, and you're also going to have a computer. You're going to need to use this computer to open the first door. Okay, so once you're in, you're going to see a bunch of blue containers. Um, anything that's blue, that's a container or anything, you need to go and search that. Anything that's blue is searchable. And they have a chance of giving you tainted metal. They won't always give you tainted metal. But they might be like a 1 in 5 chance of giving you some tainted metal. But if they don't give you tainted metal, they'll give you other things that are still somewhat useful like repair kits, generally valuable items or nanites or just units. So whatever you get is probably going to be something good if it's not tainted metal. Also, while you're going through the freighter looking for tainted metal, look out for these blue heaters as well, and they'll recharge your hazard protection instead of using um, extra sodium on them. Also, if you see any of these teleporters, make sure to reactivate them 
and then that way you can go all the way back to the to the beginning and store anything in your ship if you're running out of space and then you can come right back through to where you were Okay, so once you've got these, uh, anything that says it's highly valuable, you can sell this to the scrap dealer and he'll give you like two, uh, I think about 200-ish tainted metal. So he'll give you a lot of tainted metal um, for the more valuable things. So if you've got anything that says it's highly valuable, that's going to give you way more tainted metal than just looting the boxes will so make sure to prioritize finding anything that's very valuable Okay, so you'll be able to see there's two places you can go to sell your captain's log or whatever you've got that's got any valuable data but I'm gonna go over to the scrap dealer because that's where we can go and spend our tainted mail okay so here I am selling the captain's log and the captain's log actually gave me more than I thought it would it gave me closer to 300 actually so that is by far the best way to get the tainted metal by just looking for valuable data and then selling that instead of looking for tainted metal you get way more tainted metal by selling the valuable data and also you can see the uh, price for the next lot of coordinates has gone up to 10 million and then I think the next is either 15 or 30 million but this is also a decent way to make money you can um, get you can get uh, you can sell some of the more valuable stuff that you found but you know, obviously there's way better ways of making money but now with the extra tainted metal we can go and buy uh, different things like all the contraband and weaponry and upgrades and stuff like that So these are the stats of the jetpack, but unfortunately I couldn't even use it because I already had too many upgrades. But yeah, it was a pretty good upgrade. And for my suspicious packet, I got something called a quad servo, which I don't even know what it is, but it only gives me 20,000 units. So that was pretty unlucky, but 
I feel like with these uh, contraband, it's kind of hit or miss. You know, you can be lucky and get some really good upgrades, or you can get stuff like that, which is like pretty much worthless, uh, or at least definitely not worth all the effort that you took to get the tainted metal to buy it. So. This contraband stuff is kind of, in my opinion, I think it's hit or miss. Also, one other thing to add is I'm not 100% sure, but I'm about 95% sure that you can get uh, contraband upgrade modules um, from inside the blue boxes in the derelict freighter when you're looting the freighter. I'm pretty sure there is also a decent chance that you can get upgrade modules from inside there anyway without even um, spending any tainted metal to get it um, so yeah that's a plus as well so don't just think oh if I'm not getting tainted metal then everything I get is just useless because you can get some good upgrades as well as the tainted metal and all the stuff that you don't even want but yeah anyway that about does it for this video guys if you liked it and found it helpful make sure to drop a like and also subscribe because we're on the road to 1000 subscribers now and only 0.5% of you guys are actually subscribed so if you watch the videos regularly and you're not even subscribed then go ahead and subscribe and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one peace